Okay, this is MWB Arts, Mark B from MWB Arts, and today I'm going to try something different that I haven't tried before with the acrylic pour. Today I am doing a 50-50 with basic colors except for the white. I, it's white. I had the heavy body, so I added a little bit more water to thin it down to hopefully get the same consistency as the other ones, but I did a 50 by weight. Um, kind of followed somebody else's uh, tutorial I saw online. I think it's Andre Andre Mercer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, so the colors I have are a cobalt blue that I've mixed up already and a bright, uh, I believe it's a bright, brilliant green in the, in the basics and a gold metallic gold in the basics and just the white and i might use a little bit drizzle in some of the lumiere i believe it's the lumiere um lumiere, lumiere green or ooh, i'm not sure or maybe she had a little bit of the color shift focus Anyway, so I'm going to pour these into the container. I'm going to try to do it as a dirty pour style. Pour the white in first. Ooh, here we go. Mm -hmm. and then I think I will pour the gold in next and some of the blue in next who has a little blob here hmm. <laughs> hopefully everything's okay And some of the bright, brilliant green in it next. Okay. So, this should be fun. Now, now the tricky part here is going to be getting it to all line up again. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so while that's sitting in the middle there, I'm going to coat the rest of this with the white here. And then I will spread it around. And hopefully I stir it up this white enough <laughs> to make the difference. There we go. And I will paint that on there. So I'm just using a brush to paint it on, evenly across, so I can get a nice slick surface for the, these paints to go across. Now, I didn't have any GAC 800, so I'm not using any of that. So we will see what I come up with. Like I said, the only thing I've really tried before was the pouring medium and with success. So we'll see if I can get this to So anyway, um, like I've done two other ones, 
and that third one is kind of in the making so you might see that one appear before this one but it hasn't been edited yet so all the ways but it should be showing up probably for this one of course and uh, so my first two that I mentioned that I did one was the lost in the jungle and that one was a colors that I did of my choosing. And the first one was my ocean on fire. And that was from a dirty pour. That was combined together from a one that my wife, Stephanie from Deliberately Creative used in a previous pain that she had. And so it was just a, um, yeah, playing with it and moving around until I saw what I liked and, and it, and it was my favorite, I think, so far of the two. And the third one I'm doing is based, it was inspired by a um, Helix Nebula, the colors and the stars and stuff. I wasn't able to get to appear because I didn't have enough clear on my pouring medium. And so, yes, but the, the color scheme was cool and I love the outcome, but it wasn't exactly the way I was in, hoping for. But the colors inspired by the helix nebula and colors came out almost identical i thought and so this i think is almost ready here i think i got enough coverage here of this white paint maybe too much but we'll find out um, oh. so I think I'll have a playlist up also by the time you get to this. And so if you want to check out my playlist, it'll be acrylic pour playlist. And I'll leave an iCard for this to it so you can see the other ones if you haven't already seen any of them. Um, I think I'm almost ready for <laughs> magic to happen. And uh, hopefully I don't have too much in this cup, but we'll find out because I'm doing it on a 12 by 12, a stretch canvas. And uh, yeah, we'll see what I got here. Okay, so here we go. This is gonna be fun. Let's see what I got here. One, two, three, go. Oh, my word, the brilliant green on one side and then the uh, and the uh, cobalt blue on the other. And the gold all in one and the white kind of just kind of split in the middle and everything and uh yeah it's looking cool so far i hope you can see this okay it looks like it might be a little bright but um yeah we'll uh see what we got here i will let it sit a little bit longer oh it's already starting to do some magic with that gold and uh Wow. <laughs> Let's see if I can move some of this around here. Oh, it's just sliding around. Hopefully I don't got it too thin here. Huh? Wow, it's just sliding around. I might have this uh, too thin. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh my word. Mm. Uh, I'll be right back here. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see what I got here. I had to adjust the brightness because it was a little bit dark. So we'll try again here. So far I've got poured on and I'm getting some some cells and some lacing going on here and having lots of fun here. Ooh, it's flowing really good. I don't know if I got too thin on the too much white put on, but <laughs> Wow, some interesting looking uh, bubbles or cells. <laughs> oh, 
wow, <laughs> the, the gold kind of went to one side and the bright green went to another side and the blue kind of, but some of them mixed together. There's actually speckles here and there of the co some certain colors. The blue's kind of speckled in the gold. Oh man, this is kind of cool. <laughs> They're all kind of on the lighter hues of colors, it looks like, except for the, the cobalt blue, which kind of gives it pops of the darker color in there. Now, I'm going to set this down for a second. And, uh, yeah, get some of this color off my gloves here. <laughs> now, this last color I have is the color shift, I think. And so maybe I'll trickle a little bit of that. Hmm. Where does it need the color? Ooh, that's got color on the outside more so. So we'll put a little more color on this side. There we go. And over on this corner here, I think. And we'll see what we get with this. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Just a trickle of colors there. Let it sit there for a second, see what it does when it interacts. Since the color shift was actually had pouring medium and the other ones don't have any pouring medium, we'll see how they interact. <laughs> hmm. So that cobalt blue, I think, is really getting some interesting, I guess, lacing effect. It's kind of crackly looking. And uh, yeah, that's mainly the one I'm seeing happening to the cobalt blue, of the brighter color one. Let's see if I can shift uh, this this direction a little bit. Okay, now we'll shift some of that color back to that side a little bit. And. Oh, yeah, let's see what I got here. I'll set it down again. Oops. Uh oh. Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, well, I'm not sure what happened here, but. I think my balance went way off. <laughs> well, the cup's just... Oh, oh, I know what it is. The cup is not underneath the... <laughs> there we go. Uh, underneath the wood area. There we go. Now it should be balanced again, I believe. Oh, maybe not. Arr. Okay, people. Okay, now I think I got it balanced again. I hope. <laughs> no way of throwing a pencil on it now and leveling it, but I think it's all balanced again the way it was. So let's sit here for a second. And uh, move it around a little bit so you can see. There's that edge there. And the other edge there. Wow. Ooh, my fingers actually look like they got some cool pouring medium going on in the gloves. I wish I could, uh, I guess I could share them. There we go. I'm sharing my gloves with you. Some cool looks there. Maybe I'll take a photo of my gloves. <laughs> Okay, so I just got one corner there. Maybe I can see if I can 
get some of that over to that one corner without losing too much of the color over the other side. Oh, come on. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, there we go. And and back that way now. Oh, yeah. There's that corner, people, and there's that corner. So this 12 by 12 doesn't quite fit under the camera, but I can move it around and show you each corner. And uh, we'll see what it looks like when it dries. <laughs> I think I am happy with what I got here. Um, I could possibly add a little bit more, um, hmm. What could be added here? A little bit of the cobalt blue? No, maybe, maybe a tiny bit of that. That's the, or, or a little bit of the gold over on this side here, maybe. There we go. Mm, who? How about if I use maybe who a straw to blow some around here? The gold that is put on. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of cool. And maybe some of the uh, color shift colors moved in. And maybe some of this cobalt blue. And some of that white moved around. Wow, let's see here. Mm-hmm. Ooh. What do you think, people? Should I let it sit for a while now? <laughs> and just uh, I think I got everything covered on this. Uh, not missing any corners. I got probably way too much. Yeah, should have enough anyway. I'm just a little bit left over reach, so maybe a yeah, a mini pour could be used for those or added to something else. But for now, I think I am done with this. I will have to take off my gloves here and say goodbye. So hopefully this pour turns out good. Like I said, it was just an experiment with, you know, mixing those four colors together and a little bit of the color shift added just extra interest. But uh, if you like what you're seeing here, make sure and click like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel comment if you want to see more content like this or or something else i've done different things on my channel so you can check out the other videos on there too um have a good day and have fun and do something fun for yourself and maybe experiment with acrylic pores it doesn't take a lot to get going on this just fun and creativity and and yeah, a lot. And I'll, I'll share this. Definitely we'll share this again when it dries and show you what happened with it. And hopefully it turns out as gorgeous as it looks, looks right now. And maybe I can tilt this a little bit so you can get a little bit luck here. There we go. Ooh, there you go. About didn't interfere with the color too much. There you go. Tell me what you think of this, people. And I'll share again when it dries. When it dries. Thank you. Bye.